Hey guys and welcome back to Tamer Battles and today we are fighting Oblis and this guy is the master tamer for Cataclysm. He can be found right there in Olam. This guy is actually pretty tough. His snake and his moth do quite a bit of damage so you might want to watch out for this. I am using a mechanical type. Well, you're going to want to use a mechanical type, a magic type and also a beast type will move sets at least. So I am using the Rabid Nuts Furman whatever, 9000, and he has metal attacks, and he also has the lovely extra plating ability, which means he takes 50% less damage. And as you will see in this fight, he will still take a boatload of damage from this snake because his vicious fang on the snake does a whole lot of damage, and it's one of those attacks you want to watch out for. And I probably recommend you bring something that is anti beast so something that beast moves are weak against because as you've seen there the attack did 600 damage and it probably because i had the plague strike thing on which means he does an extra 25 percent damage when my extra plating was down so that wasn't great but as you can see we finished off the snake okay we did have to use our passive ability which brought us back to life and now we are dead so it is now moth versus magic lamp magic lamp is a great pet for this fight because of the wish ability and he also has the gravity ability which does about 550 damage well 575 damage as you've seen there so it does quite a lot of damage and it also has the arcane blast ability which gives you extra damage every attack and goes up to a maximum of about 600 if i can remember correctly but you'll not need it all too much because this fight against the moth doesn't take too long when you are using the magic lamp because you hit like a brick ton and the moth is one of those pets you want to watch out for because the moth does ability can put you to sleep it has a 25 percent of putting you to sleep which is kind of dangerous plus it also has a cocoon strike which dodges one of your er, attacks which isn't great so now we are on to the beetle and the beetle is it's not really anything you want to be worried about because it has the apocalypse ability which is really bad i think i've only ever seen the apocalypse ability hit once in my entire pet battles so you know it's not one of those pet attacks you want to watch out for and the nah, Freya youngling is a great pet for this one to fight because his his ability or not his his ability his flank ability is weak against us and as you can see our Rampage ability does a crap ton of damage and kills him very, very quick. So you don't want to watch out for the Beetle, because the Beetle is probably the easiest pet. And look at that, we get a Flawless Humanoid Battlestone, which is fantastic. So I've been the Beetle, and I'll see you all later.